First, a 5A senior point guard from Girls Preparatory School, Ms. Chadero Clay. Chadero is a four-year starter for the Bruisers who averages 16.6 points, 3.4 rebounds, 4.8 assists, and 3.2 steals per game. She shoots 39% from the field, 35.1% from three-point range, and 74.6 from the free throw line. She has been an all-region selection each year of her high school career. Shadaryl has been named to the All-State team for the past two years and was the winner of the 2011 Miss Basketball Award. Again, Miss Shadaryl Clay. You've now met the finalists. It's time to award Miss Basketball for 2012. The 2012 Division II UA Miss Basketball winner is Shadaryl Clay. There's a steal by Clay. Clay just took it away from Ballard. On his right, Shadero banks it up, got it. 14-year-old girl who wants to pursue something that I pursue, I'm gonna say go for it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Don't ever let nobody break your confidence. Don't let nobody ever break your goals and your ambitions in life to keep going for it because anything is possible as long as you keep your mind to it. I'm only 5'6", you know what I'm saying? And I'm playing D1. I used to play in the SEC with guards out there about 6'2", 6'3". I was able to survive a year in it. You keep God in your life, you keep a great support system, and you gotta achieve anything. Nichols has it blocked by Clay. <laughs> wow! Oh, she, she brought a little street defense to that possession. It was down to five, and now it's back to 10 because of a Clay driving dish and then a Clay 25 footer. Into the right corner for Shadero. Gets a screen, three in the air, got it! Nine point ball game. Oh, baby! Clay just makes things happen. Yo, I'm ready for the game. My senior night ain't got no other choice. We gotta get this dub against George Mason with my girl. You know? We played George Mason about a month ago and we lost. That was a tough one. We just beat the number one team in the conference Saturday by 10. So that like boosted us right now. So now we're like fifth in the conference out of, I think 13 or 14 teams. So we're doing good so far. The conference um, tournament is next week. So that's gonna be big. And we win that, then we go to NCAA tournament. So we're just trying to stay focused. And get these W's. So I'm excited about tonight. My family, I'm from Tennessee, so I'm about eight and a half hours away. Got all my family coming to the game tonight or whatever, my parents, my grandparents. So I'm excited about that. It's been a minute since they've seen me play, and also far, so they watch all my games and stuff online. But they get the concert. That's a big flex. I'm mad my little brother can't come though, because he got school and practice and all that, but it's all right. You'll see you? I'm senior. Man, so that's senior day, right? Senior day. Oh, right. Last home game. They ain't playing on the Seagull court. So I've been here since my sophomore year. Freshman year, I went to Auburn. And I played there for a year. And then I transferred, came in. And I've loved it ever since. I actually uh, just got accepted to VCU Pharmacy School. So I'm here for another four years. And that's going to be something nice. My teammates are excited because I ain't really leaving. But I'm just going to be done on the basketball. And that's crazy. I've been playing ball since I was like four. And now it's about to be over with that. This practice facility, everyone, we just got it this year. Oh. So yeah, it's nice. Um, we've been in it since I want to say September. And it's been it's been an experience. We made like our boys, you know, the men's team is really good. So all our donors got together and they felt it necessary to get us this practice facility. So we're really happy about that. Not every team or every uh, team in our conference has a practice facility outside their practice court. And it was kind of weird because, like I said, it's the last game I'm playing on Seagull Court. And we used to practice there all the time, but now we got this, we'll never practice. So all I do is play games in there. I'll never practice. So my time on that court is limited. And tonight is for real, like the last time. So How you feel about that though? Like? It, it's surreal. Um, I'm happy for the next step of my life, but 
I'm not ready to give up basketball and most importantly my teammates. Like I love my teammates. They're like all my sisters. And to like, not be with them every day is about to be weird. Okay. Basically, um it wasn't a hard it wasn't hard at all to adjust mainly because you know this way. Mainly because um, my team, uh, I love them. So, like I said, they're like sisters. As soon as I got here, I felt like I had a family. And, like, of course, I miss my teammates at Auburn, but it ain't nothing. It's not the same. It's completely different. And these girls I bonded with automatically, so they made the adjustment that much easier, whatever. Um, right here, this is our practice court. This is our side. Um, it's split up men's and women's side. So it's kind of modeled the same, but different, like our lobbies and stuff. So yeah, this is where we play every day. Well, we practice every day. Um, I took it over here. Um, each side, we got a film room inside the practice facility. So basically, we watch film on every single team and on ourselves. It helps us get better. It helps develop us. Um, our coach is really big on film. So we spend at least 45 minutes to an hour every practice we do. And basically, Nice little seats. Uh, this is my seat right here, front and center, the front of it. You know, and it's crazy because, like I said, I only been we've had this for this year, and it's my gonna be my first and my last year here. So the freshmen are lucky. And, uh, we got three freshmen. One right there, number two. Then Cat, she's number twenty-two. Really dang, her just number skin for it. Good luck. Cool. This is my locker right here. Why you choose number five? Number five. I've been number five since high school. I don't know. Uh, I like Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd. Growing uh, up, yeah. I was a big Jason Kidd fan. I also like um, Ella Iverson. But when I got to high school, number three was already taken. So I went number five. I used to be a point guard Which all the way up until... Uh, I'm a shooting guard right now. I was a point guard all the way up until sophomore year of college. So they just changed my position last year. I can... Shoot a little bit. Who say you uh, compliment your game after? Um, WNBA and NBA. Um, well, with the NBA, with how I like to play, I would have to say Al Iverson. Like I said, I love, I love that stuff. I love all the moves, jewels, you got it? yeah. Like I can't so much like in the game. I told you the truth. So I can't so much do everything that I want to do and that I'm capable of doing. But I definitely say Al Iverson. That's somebody who I like to mimic my game off of. And then the WNBA, um, I'll probably have to say Ivory Ladder. Okay. She uh, played for UNC back in college, and she was a chief, so she got handles too, point guard. So, so basically you're telling me you got the hands in your score. That's, yeah, that's what I got from you. Yeah, somewhat. Yeah, this big. Oh, this is my strength and conditioning coach. Hi. Hi, girl. What? I'm Lauren. Cold tub, hot tub, and then back there in the back, it's like a um, treadmill in the water and stuff. So like people who hurt, gotta do a couple of people on my team gotta do that. But that's cool. 
But they got the final four piece up there. Yeah, I remember, that's when I came down here. Yeah, that's the final four piece. Uh, you know, they still hold on to that a little bit. They're doing well, though. They're number one in the conference. How you feel about the men's team? You know, did you feel like they would be doing this good at the Shaka Smart Life? No, I didn't. I'm not. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I knew our men's team was good. Like, don't get me wrong, but usually it's hard to adjust to the coach. So I didn't think the talent level was gonna fall off at all. But you know, usually it takes teams that like transition period. Like, it takes them a year to go down, and then the next year, build once they chemistry. yeah to build that chemistry with not only the players but with the new recruits and with the coaches. But our men, I mean, they were on it. But Wade, the new head coach, he used to coach under Shaka. Okay. So it's kind of similar. Same system. Yeah, baby. it's the same system. Hi, Hannah. This is my trainer, Hannah. How you Hi. doing? Man, this job is definitely crazy. Man. Yeah, it's nice in here. I love you. Mm -hmm. I'm mad I only get a year. You think about coaching after this? Trying to get a um, position on the set? Uh, not here, not on this level. I definitely. I definitely want to stay involved in basketball because, like I said, I've been playing this since when I was four. So, um, oh shoot, I've been playing ball since I was four. So, of course, I can't give it up that easily. So, I'm thinking about, you know, after the next couple of years, I get my life together or whatnot. I'm definitely gonna like start some type of AAU team or coach some type of high school team, middle school team, something that sort because. I can't, I can't stop going off. Like, I can go to the next step, but it's too much part of me, so I can't just give it up that easy. I'm about to take y'all to study hall. This is where I probably spend six, seven hours of the night studying. Got to. Exactly why I'm a <laughs> chemistry major, so where I'm taking you is where my life is and where I spend the majority of my day if it's not on the court or in the class. It's in here, but then I go to my room and pass out. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. We have our tutors and all that good stuff, and this is just, this is, I don't know, this one of my teammates. It's good. Say what's up to the camera, Steve. Hey. <laughs> this is one of the freshmen. This is one of my tutors, Chelsea. But yeah, we just be in, we got like a picture from every sport and stuff. So you have to do anything different as far as transfer. Um, I'm not, I wouldn't change anything, you know what I'm saying, because Auburn gave me some experiences that I need to experience, and honestly, I probably would never ended up at BCU if I wouldn't have been at Auburn, so I would definitely say I wouldn't change anything. I would definitely take those experiences at Auburn because they made me a more mature person than a girl, and then come to BCU and just enhance that experience and just enhance that work, so I wouldn't change anything. Twitter and all that good stuff and all that came out. I was on this AAU team and they didn't have a number five, they had number like 24. And my friend was like, just come up for the name, my team. And I was like, I don't know. And then she was like, the clay. And then she, I had on my jersey, she's like, underscore 24. I was like, right, <laughs> underscore 24, that's what it's gonna be. Why, you didn't try to change the Jonah five? Man? I ain't, uh uh, cause people, they follow me, they know the clay, underscore 24. <laughs> it's too late. Uh, what's yeah. your favorite basketball experience? That could be, Young bull, ball, high school, middle school, period. Oh, I already know that uh, high school, I won two state championships. Hubie Smith, and of course the opponent today, the defending state champion, GPS Bruisers. You start with them, you start with Shadero Clay, their point guard who signed with Auburn. She's averaging 17 points a game, and she makes it happen. Especially good from three-point range, makes 77% of her free throws. She leads an athletic starting line. And when we say slow Shadero Clay, what's important about that? Well, you, Hubie Smith talked about transition. She's instant offense. When she gets the ball in her hands, she can go 94 feet very quickly, always under control with a lot of strength to finish. I got you. I want to. <laughs> yeah, I got two state championships. I definitely have to say though the first one. That was the most memorable one. The second one, not saying it was expected, but like 
my team was kind of up there, but the first one, nobody did expect that to happen. So that's always the best. One. Yeah, that, that was the best feeling, and I enjoyed that. I'm still best friends with my high school teammates and whatnot. Like I'm still, those are my best friends for life. And they all wish they could be here. All my friends actually went D1, which is crazy. Um, there's different sports. I got best friend Tori. She's at um, UNC running track. Best friend Simone. She out um, playing soccer at Evansville, Indiana. Taylor, best friend. She out playing softball at SIU, Southern Illinois University. Best friend Janae. She up in Baltimore um, at Loyola playing ball. My friend Finley, she ain't go for no sport. That's still my girl. Yeah, so. <laughs> gotta squad. I gotta shout out to Squad for that. That's still my girl. So we all doing big things. One of them about to be a lawyer. One of them about to be a nurse. One about to be a um, physical. Um, what is it called? A physician assistant. I'm about to be a pharmacist. One of them about to be in the business aspect. So y'all all from the same high school? Yeah, all from the same high school. We've been going to school together since middle school. What's the high school called? Uh, GPS, Girls Preparatory School. I went to a... Um, Shout out to GPS, yeah. GPS, <laughs> all girls school. Uh, anybody here? Yeah. So this is the game, my girl. But we don't really be over here. Today, I told you tonight is the pink game, so we're wearing these tonight. Let me see if mine are here. Jersey. Got to rip this tonight. Yeah, we either wear gold or white at home and then we wear black away. But tonight, since it's a pink game. What's your favorite jersey? Uh, I like the gold. The gold jersey's sweet. And then you wear like the gold compressions underneath. Yeah. That joint look nice. Glass right there. And so, like before, it'll be the whole hallway. Everybody come through. Everybody tap it. We we'll get on by business. This is where we get hype right here. This is the away locker room. So they be right in there. And we get hype right outside the locker room. You gotta be ready for them. So, oh God. I, I'm excited about tonight. I can't even tell y'all. Like, uh, I can't believe it's my last home game, though. That's the scary part about it. What was your first home game like? Oh, I was nervous. Uh, first home game here. The only reason was because, um, like I told you, I transferred. So I had to sit out of here. So I went the whole year just not playing ball. All I could do was practice, 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 practice. So when I got that moment, you know, and I was starting, and heart racing and all that. So it, it took a lot out of me, but I was excited. I had a really good game. So um, I don't know. It's just a different experience. It, it's, I love being home, but for some reason I like being away more than home. Cause I don't know, I like hearing people talking, just Talk that talking that mess at me. It fuels me, fuels me. It's so, so how was the season in general for you? Well, for the team and for you yourself. Oh, for the team, it was definitely it was a it was a success. Um, Non-conference, we only lost two games which is huge. We actually beat the number 17 team in the nation, Arizona State. We went up there and beat them at their place. So that was a stepping stone for us and like made our name known. As of now, we only have eight losses on the season, which is great because last year, like we actually got a new coaching staff last year. So when she came, it was kind of rocky last year. We were up and down. We had the talent. It's just we weren't meshing well with the system. But this year, I can definitely say we've like gotten it together and we know what we need to do on the court. So that's why our record's so good. That's why I told you we just beat the number one team in our conference because we're all on the same page. And so hopefully tonight we continue to do that and get this win, especially on senior night. And for me personally, it, it, was, a, it was a great year for me. Um, I had to adjust to new things. Like I said, I got a new coach. So coming from Auburn and then coming from here, I came to a different coach. And so I adjusted to her and then she left and then I got the new coach. And so I had to adjust to her. And it was just all about playing your role. And being a senior, I had to be a leader. So, you know, like I said, we got three freshmen, and they look up to me, and they look up to me and the other uh, three seniors. So it was a big year for me, a lot of leadership. And then outside of the court, I had to handle the next step in life because I'm like, what am I about to do with my life? I'm done with basketball. Basketball always been here for me. Like, it pays for school. It gives me housing. It gives me a meal plan. It gives me all that stuff. And so just it freaked me out at first, like, what am I going to do? next, but then I got accepted to pharmacy school, and 
I've been good ever since. I'm just trying to trying to enjoy my last couple months as an undergrad and just, you know, enjoy my teammates' company, enjoy friends' company because next year it gets real. Yeah, it's dope, man. It gets real, <laughs> real life. But so as far as with the pharmacy school and everything, was that another passion you had? Yes. Um, I actually knew I wanted to be a pharmacist since uh, my sophomore year of high school. So I used to intern and all that good stuff in high school. I'm a chemistry major. So I came in freshman year, chemistry major. I stuck with it all four years. And it worked out for me. Yo, how did you stick with that <laughs> and play football? The, it was hard. It was hard. Um, I rely a lot on my tutors. And I, I just study. I'm a hard worker. That's what I do. Uh, basketball taught me to work hard and never give up. And if somebody tell me I can't do something, I got to prove it to them. A lot of people trying to get me to change my major. Saying, like, you can't be a chemistry major and play ball. There's no way to play D1 ball. There's no way I'm missing school, like, three times a week with games. I'm traveling. But I made a way. And, like, with my family support, my teammates support, my coaching staff support, I got through it. And I got a 3-5 GPA chemistry major. And you know what I'm saying? Like, it was things I had to do. And I, I know what I want to do in life. And I just stuck with a guy, my family, and my teammates. That's how I got through So, all right. You're from Chattanooga, Tennessee, right? Yes. How's that adjustment from Chattanooga, Tennessee to Richmond? <laughs> to Richmond. VA? I'm not gonna lie. It, I was culture shocked. I came down here. There's a lot of diversity. It's just different completely. Like the weather, all this snow. <laughs> I ain't never in my life, like the snow under my feet, it just feels so weird. Like it's snow where I'm from, but it don't snow. Like down here, it'd be like inches and stuff. So it was it's definitely a different atmosphere, but I love it. That's why I wanted to go to graduate school up here because I mean, Tennessee is home, and I love Tennessee, but I ain't ready to go back. I'm, I'm trying to stay up here as long as possible. But it, it was a big adjustment, but like I said, uh, my teammates helped me out with it. I came here, I actually had a thick, thick country accent. It was thick. I got another teammate from Tennessee, too. So me and her both, um, we had country accents, but I got tired of people. I got tired of like, mimicking everything I say. So when I go home, it comes back, it comes out a little bit. But... For the most part, I kind of, my voice done changed a little bit because I'm not in this country. But it was a big adjustment. My parents want me back home and stuff. And I'm, like I said, I'm about eight and a half hours yeah. away. But I'm good. Uh, <laughs> I'm good. I'm trying to stay up here. Well, before we send them off to the game, let me ask you one more question. How does it feel being an African-American woman on a platform like this is such a, a great establishment, a D1 school? Just how do you feel all the food as within yourself? I feel admirable. Like really, um, I get the opportunity to show other young girls like what they what they are capable of doing. You know, um, coming from Chattanooga, Tennessee, I didn't grow up in the best area. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of a lot of people say the only way a black person can make it out is through athletics. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I use that to pay for my education, but that's not what I'm doing in life. You know what I'm saying? You got to milk the system. So I feel like I can set an example for other young black American girls. Like, not only can you do the sport that people, quote unquote, put you to or expect you to do and get out by doing that, but you use that talent that God gave you to explore other talents. So, you know what I'm saying? And other passions. So, like I said, chemistry, pharmacy, that's my passion in life. But basketball is also another passion. I utilize basketball to help fulfill my other passions. So, you know, it, it, it's hard out here sometimes, but like, woman and you know, doing basketball and trying to, like, I'm not the typical stereotype. They don't pick me up. People don't pick me out to be a chemistry major and want to be a pharmacist. But, you know, I really don't care what people think about me. I don't care what they say because I pretty much achieve the unachievable and I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah. Hey, y'all heard it here first. Listen, with the homie Chad. Hey. You feel me? You are, you know. VCU, senior night tonight. It's going to be too late for y'all, but. We're about to do this, man. It's takeover files. We'll see y'all in a couple hours. All right. Because we already know. Yeah. Listen. Be there. I said it already. Or be square. You're going to be square if you ain't there. Takeover files, man. Let to get this joke. It's time to ball. What's going on, man? It's your boy, J3. We here, as you see, at the VCU Women's Basketball Game. Shout out to them. We're supporting the breast cancer today. Let's go, let's go. Game time, you, you know, feel? It's game time, they got weather warnings and stuff, but they ain't gonna hold us back. We still about to get this double, George Mason. Trying to hold us, man. What in the world? How about Mason? Or gray uniforms. 
And that's the color of our pink, pink? Our pink jersey we can wear. Because they were green before they bring nothing else. They did that first. That's right, they, they messing up our night. That's all right. We're going to get it. And that's what the phase is. About to get this W. I ain't got no other choice. If you knew what you was looking at, right? We have to, like, step and cover. I'm so serious right now.
31 points. We got that dub, 31. I told y'all what was gonna happen, and it happened. I'm proud, I'm proud. It's a great way to go out. How you feel about your last whole regular season game? It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet to be honest. Like I'm happy because I'm moving on to the next step, like I said, but at the same time it's sad. It's the last time I'm gonna be on the court with the girls. So it's gonna be new to me playing in different places without knowing that I'm coming back home within the next game. So it's weird, but we just gotta finish this season out strong. I can't dwell on it for too long because we got another game Saturday. So I'm about to get to that. Hey, you ready for Saturday? Oh, we're ready. We always ready. So how you feel about your good, how you feel about your overall performance tonight? My shots were falling as much as I wanted them to, but you know what I'm saying? I kept my head in the game and contributed in other ways. Got a couple of assists, you know what I'm saying? Got a couple of rebounds. Got my little shot in there. So, you know, overall, I think I went out well on my CNN. Hey, <laughs> on to the A-10 conference tournament. Make sure y'all check them out, man. Y'all see the 31 point game today. This is just a little taste. But it's the takeover, Files. I want to appreciate you. No Let problem. You Thank you, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Last takeover home files. game. Takeover Files, it's your boy Lito Takeover, man. We out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Open the door. It's time to take over this mother sucker. Hey, 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 Lito, Lito. Come on, Lito. Take over files, man.